Here's what I care about. Are you winning games? Cam Newton for all his flaws in college 14 and 0. Andrew Luck 11 and 2. Russell Wilson 11 and 3. Jameis Winston last year at Florida State 12 and 1. Mitch Trubisky 8 and 5. They were better the year before. Patrick Mahomes 5 and 7. Huh. <sighs> Deshaun Kaiser. Brian Kelly's a pretty good football coach. He wins 10 games a year, except the year Deshaun Kaiser started. They went 4-8. and eight. I'm going to pass on that. There's one college guy winning games, Deshaun Watson. I know this. Looks like a leader, plays like a leader, ends up with a W when the scoreboard's done. If you can't dominate college, I don't want to hear about how you're going to be a great dominant NFL quarterback. Should I be concerned about Miles Garrett? I don't... Th- Listen, I don't think so, but... That's because you just don't get guys that can get to the quarterback all that often. In this league, it's about having a quarterback and disrupting the quarterback. That's exactly and, right. And so when you have a guy that has the potential to do that, whether he produced at the level that you want him to or not in college, I think that you, you've got to select him because he's got the potential to be a game-changing defender at the next level. And, and I think that the defensive people in Cleveland are pounding the table for Miles Garrett. The NFL has a Russell Westbrook. His name is Adrian Peterson. Uh, I think he's the most overrated football player in the last 20 years in the league. The last full year Adrian Peterson played in the NFL 2015, he had more negative rushes than rushes over 10-plus yards. He is a complete shot fighter. Now, there was a point when he was unbelievable, impossible not to watch and have your jaw not hit the floor. He was so profoundly dynamic and energizing that sometimes you would just sit and watch him in awe of him, running people over and past them. But what was his value? Where were the playoff wins? One in his career, and in that one, he rushed for 63 yards.